Philippines. 2018 marks 32 years that Halau na Momo Pu'u Anahuru has been in existence. When I look back at it, I'm kind of amazed that 32 years have passed. So many of the things that we do, or we've done rather, it seems like it just happened yesterday. Because so many of the people that were there at the beginning, at those 32 years, are still here in our halal life. Many of them have transisted into another phase or another aspect of hula. They might not be in the competition line, but they're the gracious ladies line. They're the ones that help us teach. They're the ones that help us with, with the different things, the different activities, the different uh, lessons that we do in halal. I've taught dancers to be lay makers, to be language speakers, to be costume makers. Those dancers are now using the things that I've taught them and the things that they've expanded on and they're bringing it back to Halo or keeping it within Halo and sharing it with a whole new generation of dancers. A lot of my women that we have in Halo right now, especially in this group going to Mary Monarch, grew up in Halo, like Kinohi. They were children in our Halo. And now they're young women, they're mothers, they're wives. And it's beautiful for us to see that evolution as from, as for them as keiki dancers now dancing as wahine. We even have a few men that have been with us since they were um, children. Uh, especially one of our students, Kainoa, he was actually the youngest dancer I've ever taken to Mary Monarch at 13 years old. He's now 26, I think. Uh, I remember his first year at Mary Monarch where we have these halal camps and the men and women come together and they, they were in groups and I'm walking past each group kind of listening to what they're saying and they're introducing each other because sometimes the men and the women didn't know each other prior to that and I hear this um, boy saying, uh, my name's Koinoa, I'm 13 years old and I turn and I look at him I'm like, what? 13? I thought you were 16 because he had come to Halal with another, another boy who was 16 and they went to the same school, I just assumed they were classmates. And I looked at him, I said, I don't take 13 year olds to Mary Monarch. And I ended up taking him. Um, so it's just that kind of um, beauty or this continuity, this continuation of, of students, of hula, of allowing us to, to share things that we did 30 years ago today in 2018, having it still be fresh, having it still be valid, having them still having those melee, those chants survive till today within our halal, it's a beautiful thing.